Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to watch a log file. So basically we're going to be tailing a log file, but what I, what I say when I mean uh, watch a log file, we're going to watch it uh, update in real time. So not just tailing the end of the file, but we're going to tail the end of it and, f and follow it. So I, I've logged into a server and I'm going to actually tail, uh, so this is a live server on the internet right now. Um, so this is a web server I have up and running. and um, I'm going to tail the nginx access log because this is kind of interesting to look at. So the the dash f will just tell it to follow. So I'm using sudo because um, otherwise I don't have permission to this log. And you use the tail command and dash f will tell it to follow the log. So anytime the log updates it's, it's going to print that out for you. Otherwise it's only just going to give you uh, what's at the end of the log file. So run a dash f like this and it's going to start out um, and you can see here it's accessing uh, you'll, you'll see access requests for different pages on different sites running on this server and see right here we see uptime robot is accessing my server um, a little while back ahrefs bot was was accessing my server um, you can see that up here ahrefs bot uptime robot so uptime robots actually a really interesting monitoring tool um, what else here? So if I want to update this, I, I have an, another screen. I can I can load one of my pages myself, and you can see here. So th this is the site that goes along with uh, with this channel, uh, loworbit.net, um, and you can see I just I, lo I loaded a page on that on my other monitor while we're monitoring this log. And see any anyone who's accessing anything. Um, the uptime robot accessed so this this site I'm not even using anymore ubuntu server.org um, but I still own the domain and it's still live on the server same thing with these ansible and mysql domains although this guy right here yep yeah, and you can see see you can see requests going to uh, look it looks like this is an actual person accessing this <clears throat> apparently using safari so it looks like probably someone using a mac is accessing this um, looks like someone's trying to access a text file, someone's trying to access a download PHP file. None of those exist, so I would have to guess that someone searching for vulnerabilities. Funny thing, you'll, you'll actually see people trying to access some, um, um, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hit control C here. So we're, we're done monitoring that, but ba basically you'll even see people trying to access WordPress when I'm not even running WordPress on any of my sites, but you'll see people trying to access it. So basically people are just scanning the, scanning every web server on the internet for vulnerabilities. And they'll try to access the, the WordPress, uh, the, you know, the WordPress login page and brute force your password, which is one reason why you have to secure things. <clears throat> So let, let's grep for WP admin. Um, I forget if that was one word or not. Um, all right, so I don't see anything like that right now, but I, ha I have seen that before. Almost as soon as I get the server up and running on the internet, people are trying to attack it. So you'll, you'll see legitimate traffic and uh, people trying to attack the server. You'll, you'll see all sorts of things going on. So, you know, secure your stuff if you're on the internet. But yeah, that's basically how you would tail a file. So um, notice here how I'm using the, the dash F flag. Now you, you could also use the, if th this will give you, it'll, it'll follow the file, but if you want to immediately see the last however many lines, you could say, dash uh, n 100 and that'll give you the last 100 lines and then it'll also continue to to follow it so that's worth being aware of also interesting we can see the uh, sogu web spider uh, spidering my server and uh, some other interesting things so so that that's all fine and great you can see like the yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in what's actually going on in the log than, than showing you how to use uh, the tail command. But uh, essentially, that's how, how you use that. So let, let's uh, so, so another one we could we could look at. So 
tail dash n 100 dash f if you want a lot of lines you could just use like a thousand or whatever but let, let's look at kern so I, I think this is going to contain my firewall information too it's the same size as my ufw log so let, let's just look at the kernel log all right so if you don't use sudo it's going to give you a permissions error now here we can see um i'm, I'm blocking things you, you you can see um people are trying to connect on different ports so someone's apparently trying to connect on all different ports <clears throat> so nothing's listening on 8080 so they're getting blocked um, so yeah my firewall is blocking all kinds of ports that people are trying to connect on so it looks like I'm probably being scanned yeah so so this same IP address 7317 is trying to connect to me on multiple different ports that's kind of interesting to see so you, you can see I'm actively being scanned and I can watch it in real time. So So uh, let's see here, all of these are empty. So, so that pretty much shows you everything you would want to know about how to tail a file. Um, and you, you could also, uh, I mean, you can use the tail command without sudo if you have permissions to the files, but that, that's basically it. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up. On, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff. Um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking, all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.